Hello and welcome back to the Baritone Ukulele Challenge, aka the Berilele Challenge. Today we are learning two finger chords. That means that we have two fingers on the fretboard at the same time. And I feel like I gave you a bunch of chords yesterday, so today we're gonna do a few, like, we're gonna do less than yesterday so that if you're still working on that, you have that. And so that you can, so that I'm not giving you so much to memorize all at once, basically. Okay, so first we're going to do, do C. And this is an interesting chord because we're playing on one string, skipping one, playing on one, skipping one. So that really requires you um, to curve the hand, to not touch the strings next to um, your the, the one you're pressing. So look up real quick. I If you can, like hold the ukulele up to your face and look down the fingerboard and see if you're touching. You'll see it super clearly here, or you can try it this way too. And, but this way, like, if the ukulele wants to fall. So careful, maybe grab it from the fingerboard. But, like, check your hands and make sure you're not pressing those strings. And then test each string. And this is the number one most popular chord. So if you memorize this one, like, actually, this is the one to memorize. <laughs> so let's try it four times. One, two, ready, go. that we're doing is E and the middle finger stays where it was at. Now breathe. And the index finger is on the first fret of G. So they're like right next to each other. Test the strings. I really need to cut the nails on that hand. I feel them a little long. Okay, here we go. One, two, there you go. curve my hand. I felt my pinky sticking out. I don't know if you saw that. I need to I need to focus. One, two, again, go. And one last time go. So if you saw me wiggling it's because I want to find that spot that's comfortable. I noticed that the pinky was shooting up. It might also be because I need to cut these nails, so I'm gonna do that as well. But I just wanna, sh look, I'm not going to the bathroom, cutting my nails, and coming back and giving you a perfect video because that's not really gonna help you grow. Like, I think it helps a lot when you see the entire process of learning and how a little detail like that could affect the posture of the hand, so. For the next video, I'll have the nails trimmed and I think we'll see a, a difference. So um, that's actually it for today. I do want to give you an extra chord for my overachievers, but C and um, E are the main ones that are most important. So um, the next chord that you can do if you would like to is um, these two fingers together on the fifth fret of D and G. This is a C major 7th chord. It's a really kind of different. So we did a major 7th chord at uh, the previous video with G major 7 here. Major 7th chords are currently my favorite because they have this weird, like, magical feeling to me. They just... I don't know what it is. It's magical and a little bit like somber at the same time. I don't know, I, I love major seventh chords. So I just wanted to give you that one in case you wanted to play. Plus it's beyond the like top frets. We tend to stay up here a lot when we're first learning. So it's nice to go to the fifth fret. So work on those chords. C, D, and C major seven if you would like to add that. 